August the 18th. Things have grown a fair bit. And uh, here's our yakon, more or less uh, not far off the same height as the sweet corn, which uh, is just about ready for picking. Some really nice cobs there, so we've had a really good year this year. And uh, smothering the oka here, that's by the yakon there. So, still a few more months before we harvest, but uh, that's how it's all looking at the moment. Got a really nice crop of uh, broccoli this year. Unfortunately, we're not eating it fast enough, so some of it's going over. So uh, that's August the 18th for you. Hi, it's uh, exactly a month after my last uh, video. Just a quick update on the yakon, and uh, it's grown like mad. We've had fantastic weather. It's overtaken the sweet corn in height. So uh, that's what it looks like at the moment. And here's the ochre at the bottom there. So it's probably near on six foot in height at the moment. So uh, in a couple more months and uh, hopefully we'll be having a harvest then. Coming up to the end, uh, beginning of, uh, well end of October, beginning of uh, November now, is uh, the pumpkins we've harvested from the garden. They've all done, and we've had a bit of a tidy up as well. A couple of giant marrows which were never used. And uh, I don't know if you remember this spot, this is uh, where all the sweet corn was. And uh, I'm going to sort of come round the other side because um, the sun's right in our eyes here. Let's see if we can get a better uh, look. Ah, oh, here we go. So it's uh, beginning of uh, November and we, everything's still uh, very green and quite lush and here's our ochre down there. I'll come in really close so you can have a little look. And uh, our yak on there. So usually I'd have expected this to be a sort of dying off but we've, we're still having really nice weather. It's absolutely gorgeous today. And uh, yesterday just had a really good clean up here. There's all the old sweet corn and pumpkins and bits and bobs, so everything's looking a bit bare. And we always get loads of um, jam off the black currant plants here in the background. So uh, yeah, it's been a really good year this year. We've uh, I've done quite a lot um, uh, in the garden and uh, we've had no end of tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, all sorts. So it's only a very small vegetable patch so um, hopefully the next update will probably be um, harvesting the yakon and ochre. I think this um, quite illustrates the sort of year we've had. Lovely, it's something you expect to see in the middle of summer. This is uh, nearly November and we've got stunning red roses here and it's just um, it's absolutely crazy for this time of year really, but uh, I'm not complaining, I'm enjoying the sunshine and uh, this gorgeous weather. Um, we just had our first frost, I'm just trying to get a good angle on here, and uh, you can see the leaves have uh, it's all been burnt by the frost, and uh, so it won't be that long before we start picking them again. You can see all the brown there on the leaves, mainly on the, sort of the tops where which have been exposed to a uh, frost. Have a quick look here. See so you get a better angle. The sun's right in my eyes here. Let's see if that's a. Uh... So we got a good. Uh... There we go. You can see all the sort of browny grey bits there. That's what the frost has done. So just uh, in the last, we've had just the last two nights has been very cold. So before long. You know, when it sort of really sort of looks like it's really dying back, we'll, uh, we'll look at harvesting that there. And um, we've got the ochre here, which doesn't seem to be affected much, so we're just going to keep leave that in the ground for as long as possible. I think that's the sort of tips I've seen. And um, I think I was told that I should have sort of um, tumped the soil up around it, you know, in a similar fashion that, that you do to potatoes. But 
we'll see what sort of crop we get from those so uh, that's the latest update oh just a quick recap even heavier frost today well the yakon's really uh, gonna be hit back quite hard it's looking quite droopy and you see it's a very heavy frost on there it's all crispy and it's a bit of a shame but uh, never get a chance for them to flower in this country in the UK because um, they just uh, need a, an extra month or so but the frost gets to them but um, hopefully we'll still have a really good crop so it's a very cold morning there's my mirror on the gate there all frosted up and the greenhouse is frosted up as well Another good night of frost and uh, it's definitely succumbed now. It looks uh, quite eerie looking. Uh, <laughs> that lovely lush green tall plants have been reduced to these zombie like uh, dead plants. And even our ochre, which was quite tough, seems to be succumbing now. It's gone all wilty. We'll keep an eye on that and um, I think we'll definitely have uh, the next little video will be um, harvesting. So uh, here, now gorgeous, uh, cold but beautiful sunny morning. Things are really progressing and uh, a video I will be making in the future which I'm currently doing. i just point the camera up there. I recently put a new roof and I'm in the middle of doing a loft conversion. I, can, I think you can just about see their uh, skylight windows there. And there's my old uh, solar panel which is up there and I'll do a little update on that. Uh, that's uh, not doing much to tell you the truth. Their days are too short and it's just uh, we're just not getting enough sun to uh, utilise that at the minute. But uh, we'll do an update on that. Right then, a uh, moment of truth. I was going to wait a little bit longer but um, I've decided to give it a go. I've got a bit of impatient. I'm going to dig up some of this yakon and see if uh, we've gotten a, a decent harvest or not. So um, we've had quite a bit of frost, as you can see, and uh, the plants looking like the worst for wear. But uh, I'm looking at the ground, and it looks like it's uh, sort of raised, and uh, it looks like there should be some uh, fruit there. I've got one plant just on its own over there, so perhaps we'll. Uh, have a go at that and uh, we'll see if we've got any uh, harvest underneath it. So I've just got a spade and a shovel. Let's keep that out of the way. And uh, I've got to be quite careful, it's surprisingly go quite big. So I'm going to dig quite far right, right round it. And um, I think what I'll do, just to make my life a bit easier, I'll chop off all their. Um, them just to get them out of the way so uh, it'll be a bit easier to dig around it. So I'll do that first. I've got a pair of loppers. Let me grab those. i got two boys, seven and eleven, and they really enjoy eating these. So we just eat them like carrots, we just peel them and put them in their lunch boxes. And uh, there's supposed to be a lot of health benefits as well apparently. I'm no expert but apparently there's some, you know, they're fairly sweet but the sugars in them are, aren't ingested by the body and you know, so you've got that lovely flavour without the downsides apparently. So um, I think just before I dig this up I'll, I'd like to give a little shout out to a uh, who's helped me out a fair bit with regards to any sort of vegetables or planting or anything like that and uh, I really highly recommend you look him up his name's Roger Crooks he's got his channel there I think it's just as it, as it is just Roger Crooks so he's a uh, perhaps I'll put a link in the descriptions which is um, quite technical for me because I'm rubbish at editing or anything like that so I'll try to do that see if I can get like a link in the descriptions or something like that and uh, We'll do that so uh, let's have a little look here and uh, see what we got then. I'm going to start digging quite far around it there so we, we try not to damage any of the plant. It, there's basically some big tubers here so 
I'm just going to take our time and we'll just go right round it like this. Right, uh, we'll have a go at, uh, see if we can get the fork underneath it. I'm just remembering from experience, I did break quite a few last year, so I'm going to really sort of try to gently and carefully sort of lever it out the ground. So, let's have a little, see if I can very gently work our way around. Right, here goes. Teasing it up all the way around. Oh, can it? There it goes. That's a good sound. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, that's a result. So we'll just shake, try to get away. Oh, it's a fantastic crop. This is a, it's been a fantastic summer this year, so I think that's probably helped. These are tropical plants after all. So what I'll do is we'll take all these apart I mean for example I'll just take one off and you can give that a wash I mean if you gave that a nice peel now and a wash you could just eat that as it is now or cook it or whatever you want so and they're supposed to be one of these so-called superfoods so um, by all means look it up uh, that's yakon that is and uh, like I said last year I had one plant now to that one plant we've had 16, so theoretically we've got 16 times 16. The maths isn't that great, but you can work out that's a lot there. So it's just such a simple thing to grow and um, absolutely no maintenance. Just stick it in the ground and uh, away we go. So um, I'll take all those off, but I'll lift it up and see if we can get a good look at that. So, can... so the next job is we'll... Just simply pick these off, it's so easy. Here's another one. In fact, there we go. So there's, yeah, and let's see. And there's a, a potential plant for next year already as well then. All those will be extra little plants ready to shoot off already. Oh, just have a look at that, eh? It's been a fantastic crop, still going. So. Just keep picking them off. Easiest thing in the world to grow. I'd highly recommend it. So just, like I said, absolutely no maintenance at all. Minimum skill. So. Yeah. I'll just give these a good wash and um, store them in a cool, dry place. I think uh, in the dark's preferable, I think. I'm not sure to be honest, but uh, right. Um, here we go. We've, uh, I've just given all the yak on a, a wash, and uh, this is all just from one plant. And I've still got loads more to harvest there, so it sounds a bit obsessive, but. I can't um, sort of stress what an excellent plant it is. There's no sort of disease I know that affects it, or you know, there's no sort of insect in the soil that's bothering it, or the foliage at all. So it is minimum. I'm really struggling to think, sort of think of any sort of disadvantage. You know, why people shouldn't try it? Uh, absolutely no maintenance whatsoever. Just stick it in the ground and uh, grow it. And I thought um, while I'm here. I, 
I'll practice what I preach and I'll, I'll show you how I like it. And uh, it's quite simple really. You just zoom into here. I like to peel it and if we get really close there, if you peel it really lightly you can sort of see there's still a sort of a light skin there. I like to get down to a, a little bit past that. So give it a really good peel all the way around. Uh, and it, this is straight out the ground, just picked literally five minutes ago. And this is the way I like to eat it. The simplest thing in the world. And um, I'm actually stunning. It's really, really crisp and it's sort of a little bit sweet and it's, it's a it's a very neutral flavor. I can't imagine anyone finding it offensive. It, it, it hasn't got any real strong flavor. It's just a, a sort of a light, sweet, crisp sort of flavor. And you can just eat it raw like this, or um, you know, use it in cooking. Uh, you know, as a substitute for carrots, or like I said, in stir fries. It's got a lovely sort of a lovely. I mean, it's, it keeps it, it doesn't sort of go soggy, it stays really crisp if you like that sort of texture as well. So it's a, uh, I'll just snap it there, it's just, see it's just, uh, I've heard people sort of describe it as um, sort of apple, carrot, sort of pear sort of flavour, you know, sort of, it's, but um, I highly recommend it and um, give it a go, it's such, such a simple thing to grow and um, I live in South Wales, so if I can grow it here, I think it, most people could grow it. And, um, and once again, it's just one of the many things I do. Um, one day I was fixing cars, and the next day I'm doing this, and the next day I'm doing uh, houses, and summer houses, and all sorts of different projects. So look me up on my videos, and uh, you know, please uh, like, subscribe, and recommend. Um, there'll be a lot more coming. I've got quite a, uh, if you just uh, have a little uh, flick through my channel, you'll see um, there's quite a few projects uh, pending. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, this is my, well, I was going to say my first year, but this is my sort of first time I've ever sort of documented it. And uh, this is my sort of first proper harvest. And this is just one plant of many more I got there. So give it a try and uh, hope you enjoyed it.